Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below, 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 below. So you'll know the next time I uh, upload a video. What's going on, you guys? So I'm done with my craft stuff. So now I'm about to get started on these egg rolls or lumpias or whatever you guys want to call them. I call them lumpia because that's what I'm going to attempt to make. But you can call them whatever you want to call them. Anyway, I'm not going to show the full detail of how to make them. I'm not going to speak. I'm probably going to add the description down below of what I used. And um, I'll show you the steps in which I put them together and I fry them. And that's probably it. And everything else, the ingredients, I will either add them in or put them below. So anyway, I'll see you guys back in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so here as you can see, I have added my ground chicken and my ground pork. Um, you want you can choose any meat that you want inside of your egg rolls. This is what I had in the refrigerator. And I could have just used one. You can, you know, use one meat. You can use two meats. You can use three meats, however you want to do it. Um, I chose to use both of these. I wanted to see how it would taste, so I have some ground tur some ground chicken, and I have some ground pork. Um, I added some seasoning. Um, you can use whatever seasoning you want. I didn't use a lot of seasoning. I just used some lard, some garlic salt, and some um, herbs and onion salt. So um, you want to? I'm going to continue to cook this meat until it is well done. I want my meat to be well done when I get ready to fry my egg rolls. So just continue on um, cooking it until the meat is completely cooked. So I didn't add any oil or anything in a pan. I just threw the meat in there and started cooking it, and then add, cooking it, and then added the season. So like I said, it's up to you to use whatever meat you want to use for your egg rolls. But this is what I decided to use. So continue to cook, and I'll see you back in the next step. Okay, guys. The next step is to shred some cabbage some onion and some carrots uh, make sure you have this shredded uh, and you also need your egg roll wraps I use a cheese grater to shred this stuff so it makes it easier when you get ready to wrap your egg rolls okay hey guys so the next steps is to um, get some kind of cookie pan cooking sheet a flat pan or even a countertop to lay your egg wraps on so as you can tell I'm using my cookie sheet it's a nonstick cookie sheet and I've laid out four egg roll wraps and now I'm starting to add the meat to that to them um, I'm just putting a little meat at a time because I don't want my egg rolls to break so you don't want to use too much meat because if it's too heavy, your egg rolls will break. All right. So once I put the meat in, I started adding my onions and then I started adding my, adding my um, cabbage and uh, carrots. So I continue on with this process until I have completely added all the ingredients to the egg roll wraps. Okay, lovelies, 
Um, now let's go on to the next step. So now we're um, going to go ahead and start rolling the egg rolls. So now that we have all the ingredients inside, it's time to roll the egg rolls. So at this step, at this level, or at this stage, or at this step, however you want to call it, um, you just want to be very, very careful. Take your time, um, roll them very slowly so you don't end up breaking the wraps or puncturing any holes in them or tearing or ripping them apart. So as you can tell, while um, I'm rolling them very, very, very careful, I'm taking my time, I'm folding them um, real slowly and gently and um, not moving too fast. And then once you get to the end of the, where the tip is at, you just dab a little water on there so it'll seal the egg rolls. So you continue on with this step until you have all the egg rolls completely wrapped. Um, once again, you want to be very, very careful when you're pulling and rolling your egg rolls. Take your time. Don't, um, try to move them too fast or pull them too fast or fold them too fast because let me tell you guys, I had a couple of them that ripped or tore. So we're going to continue with this step until we're done. And then we're going to get ready for the next step. And that. And that is to deep fry the egg rolls and some hot, I have olive oil that I use to deep fry them in. So, guys, once again, take your time when you're wrapping your egg rolls so they do not break. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, as you can see, I've already threw some of the egg rolls into my pan. I have some olive oil that I am cooking them in. And um, before I threw them in, I wanted I made sure that my grease was um, hot. You don't want to throw your egg rolls in a pan when the grease is not hot. You want the grease to make sure you want to make sure that the grease is hot. So when you throw in your egg rolls, they can start cooking right away. Anyway, so um, I put the egg rolls in the pan. If you guys have a deep fryer, I, I suggest using your deep fryer because it will cook the egg rolls evenly um, around and it should only take about three to five, uh, three, maybe five minutes at the most to cook them in a deep fryer or uh, yeah, deep fryer. 
but because I didn't feel like pull, uh, pulling out my deep fryer and putting all the oil in and all that old stuff, I just used my um, skillet, my cast iron skillet. So anyway, make sure you put enough grease in there to at least cover the egg rolls halfway, um, and that's about it. So um, what I'm doing now is I'm continually and consistently turning them around, uh, making sure I get all sides um, cooked. So um, they can cook evenly. Um, you want to make sure you keep turning them, you guys. Don't just put them in there and then walk away because these can burn very easily. And you do not want it um, the egg rolls to um, burn. So you're basically going to have to stand there and monitor the egg rolls and keep turning them. Um, once the egg rolls are brown um, and cooked on all sides, you will be able to tell because it's going to be that golden brown look, not charcoal brown. Golden brown, guys. Charcoal brown mean that they're burnt. So you do not want to see charcoal brown. You want to see a golden brown color all sides of the egg rolls. And once you see that color, your egg rolls are pretty much ready and you can take them out. Now, when you take your egg rolls out, make sure you're draining them on some paper towels or something to get the excess oil off because you don't want to be eating all that oil. And plus, it'll make the egg rolls soggy. So make sure you drain them. As you can see, I'm starting to take them out and I'm draining them, draining that excess oil off of it. As you can see, it's got a golden brown look to them and they look perfectly cooked even all the way around. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next. In the results, you guys, I've taken my egg rolls, put them on a paper towel to drain the excess oil off. They are golden brown. They look scrumptious, ready to eat. Comment below. Tell me what you think. If you're going to try them, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Guys, all you need now is some sweet and sour sauce and go to town with these bad babies. Enjoy. Thanks for watching my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.